Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to our review. Today, we're going to talk about Mythic Legion's Baron Volagar 2. Now, this is our unarmored, unmasked Baron Volagar. Many, many moons ago, we got the original Baron Volagar. I'll put him in the review for later so y'all can see what the hell he looked like. And honestly, I love this. I love that during the Athelia wave, we got Baron Volagar 2. We got him unmasked. My man got the creepy scar, the ugly face. You can tell he's been undead a little too long and he just don't give a fuck about life. And it's fantastic. And it's one of those things where it's like, in my head canon or my lore of him, he is conniving. He is, you know, he, he wants to take over, but he's just so old and so mean. And it just, for that reason, it really works with what's going on. And he really does love Athelia, like so much so that he put her face on the front of his armor. So you know who he banged with. And things like this always make me happy and excited design-wise. So... Let's talk about it. And while we're talking about this particular figure, I do want to note, because people will not listen to me, so hopefully closed caption will catch up to you or you don't skip over this part. I use the black hands from the hands and feet set too, because I do replace these hands. And in my photos, I have other hands being shown. So if you don't pay attention, that's really on you. I just want to make sure that's known. <laughs> so articulation wise, we do have our standard Mythic Legion look. But uh, it's just one of those things where it just moves a lot better with this newer type of plastic that they chose for Varen Bolagar. I know it's super duper shiny and uh, it definitely works for the idea of the black armor. We can hit our T-pose. We have our round, ground and pound articulation here, as you can see here. And I'm super excited because after reviewing Geats, I said to myself, I'm gonna review something that I wanna review. And I've been wanting to review this guy for a while articulation wise even with our claw like armor up here we still have a ton of room for movement even going upward and a little bit downward <clears throat> as you can see i got a little crazy there but um yeah so yeah but as far as our leg go this is where it gets a little hindered because we have the soft plastic here in the way but this type of armor because of the way it's locked right here you can't go really crazy far out because you'll risk breaking this plastic here so this is about as far as that as you'll get you can go forward though you can get a little below 90 degrees close to about 70 degrees we still have our thigh swivel with little to no problem we still have our single jointed uh leg but we have the generous ankle pivot as well as rotation here at the knee then as far as our arm goes you know it's still on that single joint so we still have our single joint rotation here which you know you can get a lot of movement there but <clears throat> you will get a better amount if you do it at the armor break and you do get gauntlet swivel as well and this is where i was going to say those extra hands will come in handy because they have hands that rotate up and down vertically and then we have our horizontal hands as well now because of the new armor which is pretty cool you actually get a little bit more arm articulation going inward which is pretty nice and that will allow you to do a little bit of extra not by much but just enough so that way it matters right oh one more thing I want to add, in case you are a part swapper or customizer, you actually can remove the Athelia front plate and replace it like with those of the armor parts of um, like Beardrick and, and, and Valak, right? So he actually has that front plate takeoff too. So look, in case you were curious about that, you could actually take that off and let's say you wanted to place the armor from like Valak on front, boom, no problem, it's done, right? So keep this in mind going forward for other releases because it may allow you to have a little bit of fun with your part swapping because popping and swapping Mythic Legions is like hella fun. Like, I mean that. Like, look how I just literally took this guy apart and put him back together. <laughs> so we've got our articulation, right? We've got our look and I really do love his look. And this is not even his completed version. I like skimmed him down so that way you can get the full look. We're actually going to talk about that right now in our accessories so let's get to All it. right now we're going to talk about that completed look for baron volagar now this is where it gets a lot of fun for me both uh, in a good way and a bad way because for baron volagar we have this this banging add-on of our fur because my man got drip like he really don't care like i said he's like that mean grouch who lives a luscious life and here we can actually just place it right over and the reason why that is is because he has these beautiful pauldrons which honestly, when they go on him, they look absolutely beautiful, but they will hinder all articulation. 
But when I tell you this man look good in them, well, this undead dude looks really good in them. So let's actually place them on as we place the fur under. And this is where it gets tricky because placing that fur under and finding that proper spot is always really tricky. Because you want to have that, uh, you want to, you want the glow up and the drip to look good. And I'm going to keep it real with y'all. Like Baron Bolagar just looks really good. Like he could stand there and just look like he's doing nothing. But look. If this hunched over dude came to you, right, with the drip of his his bandolier, his armor, would you, wouldn't you be terrified of a knight that looked like this? Like, this is terrified. It's awesome, but it's also, like, equally terrifying. Now, by the way, if these ever warp on you, put them in some hot water, some, like, boiling water, and it will re-warp back in place. Mine's constantly just warp because I'll, like, leave it or it'll fall off display. I could just put them right back after putting them in some boiling water. So, just in case you don't know. But look, I love this look. I, I said it a million times, and that's because I mean it. Like, look at that. Look at that. I want to do some terrifying, just over-the-shoulder stuff with him. Like, he is somebody I love photographing, and I literally have pictures over, like, the last year of him that I have never posted, and I really want to get to that. Now, on top of that, you will also get a cape that is not wired. And I believe I've shown you several times how to do your cape. So when you're popping your pojans on, you fold these inward and you place it behind him. I actually have some, some ones that I've had commissioned for wires. So that's a different story for a different day. But I just want to show you that he does come with that as well as he will get a cool shield. I love these shields because these look great for this type of armor. Like imagine if this was placed in his arm, right? My focus is all over the place today. So imagine like if this was placed in the arm. So you have that. The handle is right here, just in case you're wondering, because I know somebody's going to ax, right? And then you'll also get two types of blades. So <clears throat> you get your standard vampire pack blade, as well as a long blade. Ooh. Either way, both of these swords are really, really good. They're actually really long, too. As you can see, even if standing up next to them, they're actually almost as tall as him hunched over. So yeah, you get two blades. But without that also being said, like I said, here is hands and feet packs too. I have them in a Ziploc bag. I'm gonna unzip them, take them out. And that's because if you didn't pay attention earlier, at least I got you now. You can actually add the hands and feet pack too to Baron Bolagar for an enhanced sense of like different type of option parts. These are the feet. You can just pop those out. You'll actually have hands. And that's the reason why I'm going to use these, because with these hands, right? Like I said, here's the vertical pegged hands for holding weapons, which will actually make it look a lot better. Then there's stuff like open action hands that I love. And they match the semi-gloss armor look on these for him. So if you want to go with padded lever over the complete armor, it's really a nice option and beautiful choice. So just want to add that on for you. Without further ado, we're going to jump into size comparisons and the Baron Volagar comparisons about mixing and matching. I'm going to show that off too. So I'll see you guys in a bit. All right. Now we're at the size comparison. All right. All right. All right. Get my Matthew McConaughey on. <laughs> so here we are with Baron Volagar 1, right? Took off the headdress, right? Our little top pauldron piece. And as you can see, we share our similarities in terms of these parts, our boots, our legs, arms even. But... The middle chest armor is completely different. We have a new sculpt here on the head. And because we can pop and swap, if I wanted to put this helmeted head on here or vice versa and swap it over, I can easily do that. But that's part of the fun of Mythic Legions is popping and swapping and creating your own characters. If you want to see somebody who does that quite often, there is Dorklair and Dennis Darby over in the Cabal group. They will make you sad with how much they make cool pop and swaps. So keep that in mind for those guys. Uh, they are an inspiration. Now, Let's take this guy away, and let's compare to some other vampires I have that are also from myth also from Mythic Legions. There I go getting ton tied. Here we are with Valak. I know I've mentioned him earlier, and Valak has that chest piece. Like I said, if you wanted to take this chest piece, pop that on over here. Uh, I'll try to do that in the photo so it looks a little different. Then we have the goddess Athelia using that 2.0 body. Don't worry about that headpiece because that would technically make her taller than everyone else. But she does stand pretty close in terms of them, right? Let's remove Valak. Then we have Varg, our tiny uh, vampire mutant. Here we go. And even if you wanted to swap this head and put it on over there, have fun. Mix and match your stuff. Have a good time. 
And then if you want to try a uh, another type of Mythic Legions, here is a normal human with a, on a 1.0 body, a barbarian. There you are with that. All right. Hi, Ichigo. Hi, buddy. I got to let you buy. Go ahead. And then we have, ooh, let's mix some Mezco and some NECA in there. So here we are with Conan. So Conan versus Vampire is on your list. We have that. And yes, I am going to throw uh, Blade in there as soon as I find him. I was actually uh, looking for him earlier. I have him around here somewhere. I want to I wanna put Blade in the in the size comparison. Ooh. And there I go dropping stuff. Mm. For shame. Here we are with a NECA Predator. My Mezco one's out of the equation right now because I'm actually going to have him repainted and have some fun with that. <clears throat> right? So, and I know I mentioned it because I had to wiggle him all the way over because Ichigo knocked him away, as y'all heard in the background. Here we are with Mezco Blade. So as you can see, Mezco Blade can look really good in your set. So Blade versus Baron Bolagar will be coming soon to a theater near you. Here we are with G.I. Joe Rakondo, and then we have Valiver's Rollout. So Armored Vampires versus Military People. Also, not out of the question. Have a good time with your toys, y'all. For real. Like, make sure you do that. If you're not having a good time with your toys, what's the point? Here we are with a Kulu World 112 Collective Skeleton. One, Not 112 Collective. 112 Skeleton. <laughs> Here we are with a Marvel Legends Hellfire Guard. Here we are with a Lightning Collection Blue Ranger. Which Blue Ranger? I'm going to say Kyoto because I can't remember the U.S. name. <laughs> Uh, oh, and because let's say you want to mix vampire dudes or vampire looking dudes or you want to put a helmeted hat on, here we are with SHF Boba Fett, in case you want to mix and match these guys, and here we are with SHF Kamen Rider Cougar. Gotta have a good time with my boys. The one thing I did forget, uh, and I'm going to try to pop it in a photo, is going to be the Zest Ray Studio stuff, because I actually just finished organizing my stuff and I left them out. I mean, I put them away. I meant to leave them out. But yes. I do want to say thank you because I've been in, trying to recover. And in my recovery, I've tried to been boosting spirits. Trying to review what I want. Trying to have a good time. And if this doesn't get a lot of views, I'm totally fine with that. But I do want you to share it with people who you feel like will enjoy the kind of enthusiasm that I've been aiming to put out for people to enjoy. Because a good time should be infectious in a good way. And it shouldn't be just kept to yourself and hoarded right share good times with people just in case you don't think that trust me it, it does make a difference for folks share having a good time with people because when you do that they share it with other people and we spread the love because that's the brooklyn way remember that and also to remember please be good do good and drink your water guys later because I was trying to add it in, I'm going to add it here at the end. Here we are with a Zest Ray Studio. And because I totally forgot and I wanted to add it into the video. So that's why. Part of the reason for me adding it now is here is the AWOC. Here's a Treyu. So here we are. Knocking it out. Knocking it out. So thank you guys again. Spread love. Be good. Do good. Drink water. Later.